feel like I was meant to hang off the <laughs> side of a side of a French castle and have pyro flying all around me. Go, go, Jira, go. Right on. I like that idea. Welcome, everybody, well, to Full Spectrum ceremonies. Cycling <laughs> from the Olympics. Yeah, Show absolutely. number 265. 265. We got, uh, we got JK. With, hey now, hey now. With his, are you going to get a new mustache going based on your shirt? or It is there. It's just that Which I'm, one is I'm it? Is it? Is it the uh, trucker? Kind of trucker? It's not the trucker. No. Uh, it's closest close to, the to the trucker. Closest to the trucker. Yeah. Yeah. We got Tony Berger. That's me. <laughs> Special in studio guest today, Mr. Ken Keen. On the scene. Ken's on the scene. Wow. What a heck of a weekend. <clears throat> it's a, it's Tuesday. Has everyone recovered yet? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> Did no. it have anything to do with being off on Monday? Yep. Yeah, oh. That helped. <laughs> so I'm, the River I West 24 was this past weekend. <clears throat> and boy, howdy. Not only was it the best weather I remember in a 24 in an awful beautiful. long time, yeah. especially Friday night. It was just beautiful. Fantabulous. I uh, uploaded 11 minutes worth of people going across uh, Center Street and Pierce just after the start-finish line nice. on the first lap. 11 minutes oh, of yeah. people nonstop, just, just nonstop streaming by. As soon as I left, because I, I, I kind of snuck in, because in theory, I guess they want you to... Uh, to get into in line, that's in number. That's long gone. Yeah, I yeah. know, but I think they do. Yeah, they, they encourage try. it, encourage it, and I try to encourage. Yeah, try myself to encourage the encouragement of the encouraging. Yeah, but then I was like, wait, there's a hole right here, and I can just go brip, and I'm going over to Martin's to see floor model, like so, right yeah. at yeah, cause, start because normally you wait a good half hour after the at least after the and that's stream. how long that's how long the stream was. It was long. I, it, yeah, it trickled, but it took about a good half hour for everybody that I saw. From that point to get to basically get to the point where they're riding at their own pace and whatnot. Yep, yep. Yeah, even even off the front, I didn't see a bunch of people like just hammering right out of the starting block. Those days are gone. They're but the but the, 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 middle, the, the people that came through uh, the start finish line on the first lap were like 13 minutes. That's fast. Yeah, that's very fast lap. You better believe it. Yeah, or somewhere in there. That's trying too hard. I don't remember the exact number. That means you're that means you're running red lights, and yeah, stop you're, signs, you're, and running over little old ladies and knocking people off there. Maybe a middle aged white guy on a fat bike that electric fat bike that takes out a woman causes a uh, trauma. Well, Who knows? What, what's the first year that an electric bike is going to be the first across on the first lap? Ooh. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> wow, Tony can do that. <laughs> we could, we I, you know, that's the, not a hill I'd want to so die. On. Have you been following <laughs> the, the Colin and and Jake? Not anymore. Oh, I just, God, it's, it's Jake is just he won't let it go. It's oh funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been watching that tennis match. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's fun because uh, 2012, he, he, the year yeah. that that uh, Colin smoked him on the first lap. There's clearly a shot of him skidding in front of Jake. The, the bone of contention was who got their manifest out first. Yeah, that. Colin's like, I hope you still have your manifest. I hope you're proud of it. <laughs> it. It wasn't about the manifest punch. It was about the finish line. Right. And that was what I got yeah. gleaned and from And not it. to mention, yeah. and then Jake, Jake's like, on the as, as 700 the by of it. 23s and Colin's on 26 by 4. Anymore, I would say 700 by 23s are are a handicap because right. of all the, all the crappy, crappy roads. Road. And, yeah, you're... You're kind of a, you got a much easier, more relaxed time on a fat bike for sure. So I have a question. I know I did. What is the? Uh, didn't they they come to like a head with how many contestants there are? They put a head on it. What is it? Eight hundred, a thousand? What do you know? You guys know what contestants. it is? Contestants. Um, there are they generally cap at a, a thousand participants. Yes. Okay. And they kind of that's loose because some people sign up for. Four person teams and then add one. Some people sign up for six and only four show. I'd say there's a I heard there was a total fathered in. I, I heard today between volunteers and actual registered riders who paid money, it was twenty eight hundred people, and that's not counting all the people that just showed up. Wow, like middle aged white guys who that's, had an electric so that's another, that ran that's another thousand people. I was thinking yeah. twenty five was what the stream was. It must be more than that. That's another hey, guess grand. What? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? 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 Right what? off the bat! Right off the bat! Right Caller? off the bat! I'm pushing the button. Oh, hi. oh, do it! Hey, welcome to the radio program, caller. Who do we have on the line? Good evening, guys. It's uh, All Roy calling. Nice. All Roy. How's Canada, man? It, well, 
That's right. It's good. It's good. It's warm here and wet. It's rainy and warm, so it's moist. Yeah, it's a little bit humid. Yes. <laughs> Same here. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I know it's been a while since I phoned in last because I, I wanted to have something to tell you guys. At least I have a couple of uh, things to discuss. So yeah, I mean, it was. I didn't want to bore you with the, the same old, same old. But I've been doing a few things, doing a bit, a few rides, um, yeah, different events, a race, and uh, can, you know, a uh, cancer charity ride, and uh, and such like that. So yeah, it's been a bit. It's been busy. It's been busy. Good. All right, man. Do tell. Uh, the. I, well, so this this year was a big year for me because at the end of April, the uh, my odometer turned over f- to 50 years, and I decided to participate in a, a fat bike race that's held every every spring. Um, well, it's not it's not just Ding. exclusively a fat bike race; it's actually uh, more of a cross country, um, you know, gravel style race that they hold here and uh, different different lengths, but anywhere from 100k to 75k to the, the one I participated in was the 45. Uh, kilometer fat bike ride, and I actually pulled off second place. So nice, oh, right on, right on. That was a good kickoff. You got a picture? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was. Um, yeah, I do have a picture, and it's, it's basically looks like I'm wearing a mud suit. Like it's like Send head it. to toe sand in every crack and crevice. And it nice, was, uh, but I did feel pretty, pretty satisfied that it was a and brief send footage as well. And he, you should have some footage. You should send that to us for yeah. a show note picture. Send it to Greg at Full Spectrum Cycling so we can have a picture of all right. I, I can do that. I can, I have a pretty decent picture of the bike and, and me just stand there just completely and utterly soaking wet and, and sandy. But, uh, you know, it, yeah, it was good. It was, it was worth it. It definitely was worth it for nice. sure. I can definitely send you that picture. Nice. So you're only five years yeah. away from coming down and joining us on, 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 the, on the elder team for the River West 24. You, <laughs> you have to be 55. So we're, we're making we're making you know plans what? to reclaim the podium next next, next uh, year, River West 24. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, all, all right, I uh, celebrated my 50th birthday in Canada. Mm. Did you really? Where about? Uh, Vancouver. Mm. Okay, is right that, even really, yeah, is that even really I, Canada? I think I've told you this too. I also honeymooned in Quebec. Oh, see, Quebec is much closer. I've been. I'm a little more familiar with Quebec. We I, kind of just passed through. We were. We were actually. I was. Um, when I was younger, I made the foolish decision to take a one way with it, with this guy that had an idea. But you know, and sometimes the ideas sound a lot. When you're in your teens, ideas sound so solid. Like things make a lot more sense. You have a one way plane ticket to Alberta, and then we just basically hitchhike to Vancouver and then took the ferry over to the island and then we just kind of bummed around and bought this crum- crummy car and I, I just drove it home. So that was... Wow. It all worked out for the good, but it was... It was... Um, it wasn't that well thought out. It wasn't a very <laughs> solid plan at all. But you were how old? 19? I was... At the time, I was... Yeah, 19. I just finished <laughs> high school and this buddy of mine goes, hey, let's just go out and, and be lifties at the... Uh, <laughs> Sounds Lake like Lee's a solid Resort enough plan to me. Right on, right on. Buy a car and drive it home. It was. <laughs> when four bald tires and no spare and, and eventually at halfway point, um, it did uh, lose its rear window. So we were kind of windowless. And that with a matter. couple of people that had never. Yeah, it was, That's it was, a great it was an story. Adventure. It's a good story. I mean, it's how did, definitely How does it just lose the rear window? window? Yeah, how do you lose the rear window? Did somebody Get shot at it? Yeah, like a shotgun blast? No, or? no. No, it was what ha- you know those little. The, they're like almost like around. They're sort of decorative rocks. They're kind of like a white uh, quartz type, type rocks. You put them around like a garden or something yep. like this. Yep. So there was a guy that had stepped out to speak to one of his friends who he stopped at to hopefully stay the stay the night, just get somewhere to sleep. And he was trying to get my attention, and he was tossing the rocks at the car. And before I could get out to say, "Hey, man, can you, don't do that," it just blew the whole back window out. And <laughs> oh. You had you would have had I'm to told, tell him don't that do would be that. Terribly Canada. Nice. Sounds like well, more like <laughs> bricks than rocks, man. To blow your back window out. <laughs> That's for side windows. It got my attention for sure. <laughs> <laughs> got my attention. Super. Yeah, absolutely. That's like making yeah. yeah That's making I mean, Midwest did... nice seem mean. Right. <laughs> so what else? You did your your fiftieth and. Yes, so that was the kickoff. Was then, and then I did a uh, a bike packing, a two hundred and seventy five uh, kilometer bike packing trip with a buddy of mine. That we we do one in the fall, and so I thought, oh, two seventy five won't be so bad. It was a little north of here, and it ends up um, the train is very very hilly. 
So it wasn't exclusively, tra- it wasn't all trail riding. There was a there was a considerable amount that was on either gravel roads and this. And I mean, we got absolutely, we got absolutely demolished because just I don't think we were they were quite seasoned enough to do it. We pulled it off. We managed to we managed to do it, but it was it was it was quite a struggle. It was definitely more than I I bit off a lot more than I more than I should have. Over how many one. how many days it was, was nice. it? How many days was it? It was just over two days, so we had one oh, night stay. So it was a gr- what oh. they what he talked me into. The guy, a buddy of mine, he said it was a, it was a grand depart, which is like they have these um, designated basically bike packing routes you can kind of do a loop style, and they actually post them, and they 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 um, you can you can follow along at your leisure. You don't, there's no real time frame, but this one happened to be a two day thing where um, say you know seventy five or eighty people show up and then you just kind of go at your own pace and arrive at a, a campsite and mm. in the evening with yep. everybody cool. all right on. and I mean yeah I mean I don't know why i I felt like I, I mean I've done the bike packing thing a few times and I felt like I had a pretty good handle on I bike every day to back and forth to work so it's not like I'm not you know a seasoned rider when I arrived at the camp near the end of the evening and everybody's there enjoying themselves and I'm thinking, well, did they take a shorter route or something? <laughs> Maybe they, yeah. they had a sag wagon. Yeah. So, I don't know if there was a, if there was something they knew that we didn't, but they seemed to be um, in much better shape at the end of the day than, than I was feeling for sure. So what would you say, so, 100, 175K? It was, uh, yeah, about 175, uh, sorry, pardon me, 275. So it ended up being about 135 per day, kilometer-wise. And that so, is, yeah. like that's one, how many miles is that, 80, 80 miles, 70 miles a day? Well, 100K would be 60, so 60, yeah. 60, and then whatever the, whatever the bonus was. That so, sounds yeah. like math. You're math and me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was still, I know, it's not exact, still significant, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yeah, and then I did a, um, it's a charitable ride that happens here um, in Ontario uh, for a really well-known um, cancer research hospital. So um, I, I've done that, and I've, that ride in particular six times, but the last two times I decided to give myself a good challenge because it is a road ride. Essentially, it's it's any your, your, any fitness level whatsoever. I mean, they do take care of you. They they provide all the food and, and the and the campsite and the, you know, anything cool. you could possibly need to get yourself through, a, you know, 100 it's about 100 kilometers, 60 miles or plus a day. And then you go one day down, you camp at a campsite, and you go back. And you have to raise a certain amount, but they don't want you to, you know, you don't want you hopping on the thing with all this, the extra people that they have. And there was 4,200 people that did that. But I decided the last wow. few times I was going to ride my fat bike. So I actually rode my fat bike in it. And that, that kind of makes a bit more, people do turn and look when you're riding a fat bike in this event. It's, and even the riders, when you... You know, when you're riding beside them and they hear that noise of the tires coming up behind them, they they, they definitely do a double take when they <laughs> see a passing them on a fat bike. So, so yeah. You, so you were talking about uh, the, how it was like a, a, a circle route and they have some uh, established bike packing stuff. And our buddy Dave Slabowski yeah. up in, in northern Wisconsin in Hayward does a bunch of that kind of stuff where he sets routes up and people come up and ride them. And he's working on a new one. And it was like, how far is it from Ontario to Hayward? And Google says we can't find a route to get there. <laughs> it's, like, it's 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 in far northern it's Wisconsin. Not, I'm like it can't be that far be away. Fairly close, yeah, relatively close. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is really for us is when you, I think and I haven't tried it, but I assume there is a way to do it. They always say when you cross the bridges from the from Canada into the U.S., they always say, well, you know, pedestrians and cyclists, you file into this line, or you you know, you end up at this door here. But I, I've yet to see anybody actually crossing the board, but I'm assuming that they give you the once over thinking because they ask you, well, how long do you anticipate staying? And then you better have an answer because, you know, the, you guys don't really want us hanging around there forever. With, you know. So, um, you know, you kind of got to have do. an idea. And if you're on your bike, you, you may be, you might want to kind of have an established route for sure so you can sort of verify what, what you're going to be doing when you're there. So that, sure. that's our people or your people? <laughs> no, no. Well, you know what? Canada's funny that way. It's it's um they, oh, they do give even they give Canadians for some reason we have to fill out this form that, that allows us to come back into the country. They want to they want you to uh, announce your arrival before you get there. So like if you're in a hotel the evening before you anticipate coming back, you basically have to file this form and let them know when you expect to be coming through there. <laughs> you know so, from uh, we're from I Milwaukee, mean, Wisconsin, correct? What's that? We're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I've been to Canada like six, seven times. Not for biking stuff or whatever, but just for you know other things since I was a kid up until yep. 
you know, but um, we do things down here a little differently. Right. Explain yourself, yeah, I mean, Ken. Not- yeah, you're not really coming through with anything there. Yeah. Okay. A- add some value to that uh, th- that comment. Well, just you know, you're like, uh, th- you know, they want you to explain why you're coming. But a lot of people that I've known uh, in uh, Wisconsin, especially if they live in Manaqua or close to the border, they just, you know, that are avid bikers or this and that, they just burp and they just go in unannounced. Is my point. Uh, I think that I think that happens on occasion in Vermont as well. I think because they're they have I mean because they kind of Quebec and Vermont are so kind of tight knit there that mm-hmm. there is parts along that border that is kind of loosey goosey as well. I don't think they're that that well. I mean, um, yeah, they're they're not fully stationed let's, border let's, patrol. Let's hope, I don't think. <laughs> let's hope nobody's listening that can figure that out. But uh, hey, <laughs> so you oh, did I mean, so you did yeah. a bunch of rides. I'm sure there were hills. We're at the top of the hill here yeah. at, uh, so on our ride. What uh, you got? What, what you got? What you, what you, what you got? Okay, I, I do. I always go to, to a little bit. I, I try to find something that I haven't had before. Um, this is a, it's called Shatter Cone India Pale Ale, and is from Stack Brewing from hmm. Sudbury, Ontario. So Sudbury is quite a distance north uh, of uh, of here where I am at. Give us the so APV and stuff. It, so, uh, let me see. I think it is. It is six point five. Respectable, right on. Is is Sudbury? It's, it's is, not bad. Is Sudbury like a, an oil uh, extracting area? It it's they call it the big nickel. I think there's a mine. There's oh. mines up there. I don't know if it's ah. gas and oil, but it is. There is mines up there for sure. They, you pass by the road, and there's apparently a giant nickel out the front. Or something as you interesting sort of nickel. Awesome. Tell you where you're at. Uh, so the reason I, the reason I got this. Sorry about that. The reason I the reason I got this beer is because you guys might not have heard, but we had a in Ontario. Our um, beer is controlled. The liquor control board of Ontario. So they basically have little stores around that you you can't just go into a gas station or a grocery store. You you can start to now, and they went on strike because they didn't want um, kind of to water down their product. They didn't want you to be able to go just any old where um, and buy a beer and and wine even though we do have stores that now will allow it. So they had been on strike, and so kind of out of a, a bit of a protest myself, I went down to the local grocery store that has advertised beer, and I just never wandered in, and I, as, as it turns out, I found five that I've never tried before, and that's pretty mm. pretty tricky for me to... I'll try just about anything, and I do <laughs> like variety. So it, right on. So, yeah, awesome. so it, sounds so a little... Kinda, it, yeah. Sounds a little more uh, uh, restricted than down here. You can yeah. pretty much go to any gas station slash worm farm but that's wisconsin bait shop bait uh, wh- shop yeah what was that's the name wisconsin. of the we, uh, yeah give us the name of that beer again that from brewery. stack from stack okay. it is from stack brewing yeah and it's called shatter cone shatter cone okay. Uh, okay you see it there yep yep yep, yep. we'll so have that in the show notes i just looked at i looked at panache which looks yeah. very much like sex uh, me that link so i can put it in the show notes i can almost put it in the show notes right <laughs> well you so, can do that you're i know canadian <laughs> so uh, in other words what you're saying is that there's uh places you go to get um liquor and beer unlike here in like let's just say wisconsin or the united states and you go there and it, it to me it looks like um like jail and you go there for beer it's it, it's totally like um sterile and envi- uh, uh government control environment that you go to get alcohol correct yeah oh yeah it's it, they all kind of have a sort of somewhat of a uniform and it's uh yeah it's all very Orderly looks and, like a um, jail, dude. Straight up. If you're if you live in Wisconsin, well, it's like it looks like you're going up like to the DMV, or you're going to the House of Correction, or you're going you know somewhere yeah. that's very sterile. <laughs> so uh, just to complete the beer uh, the beer lap here, uh, Tony and I went to our local uh, five dollar burger on Monday's place called Camino, and it's been somewhat uh, inconsistent. But for five bucks, what are you going to do? Yeah. But uh, I, we under yeah. we we learned the reason why is that they had a supplier they were trying and it didn't work out, so they went back to their previous supplier, cost a little bit more, much better. So I think they're going to be consistent again. But Bridget, God bless Bridget. Bridget, she turned uh, us on. she turned us on to this Three Floyd's beer called Turbo Reaper. It's a West Coast IPA, and 
Tony's right. right. It was a little better out of the tap. It, it's, but... it, it's not a little better out of the tap. It's still fantastic out of a can. Boy, was it out of a tap. I'd be in trouble. Well, on a Monday yeah. afternoon, the, you know, the weekend after. It was a Monday morning, the... Greg. Greg, it was a Monday morning. Yeah. See, that's what I was I talking about earlier. By the, the second beer, the day it was early, Like yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you go there early. You get the best burgers. You get the tap, and it's fantastic. If you go there outside of the realm, you're taking a chance. It you're was, too busy. By the you time, get the jobs. Then by you the get time the khakis. We, by then the you the time, get the khakis, then you get the women. By the time we were there for 40 minutes, it was packed. The whole place yep. was packed. We were one of the first people there. Mm-hmm. Got there, there were, early, went there, to Zads. There was so much smoke in there. <laughs> the, the of burgers. course it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that lots was pretty of, incredible. Lots of flame-broiled burgers. But, and uh, for the yeah. record, shout out for the fries, too. Fries were pretty mm, damn fine. Oh, those were good. And mm. the shoestring oh, they're onions. Good. They're, they're good. Yeah. Shoestring yeah. onion rings. Good stuff. Oh, they're very good. But yes, this Three Floyds Turbo Reaper is really an outstanding hazy. Yeah. I'd, I'd like uh, All Right to come down here and sample all the good beers we have down here. He'd be here for a month. So you oh, recommend... Probably never oh, I got right <laughs> So you'd like it better than this? I've been doing research. I, I have been doing research. It's incredible that the amount of, of breweries and stuff that you guys have there. It, it's great. I like that's what I like to see it. It's it's awesome. The variety is the best. You know, everything's just different. I know some of the guys are. Some people like it like a. They're very. They like one type of beer, and that's the only. They won't stray very far. But I'm not like that. I'll, I'll basically try just about anything. I enjoy most everything. What do you so, mean? Yeah. There's no bush light. <laughs> yeah, Hopefully right. they don't get bush light in or, Canada. Yeah. Bush It'd latte. be like uh, yeah, or the Labatt's slash they, Molson. The bush light, yeah, we have it. We have bush light. We got um, yeah, all your regular stuff. Anything we we also have as well as the liquor control uh, board. We all have what we call the beer store too. And the beer store is basically not it's not a government uh, owned and run facility. It's actually owned as the way I understand it by the three biggest brewers. Huh. So hmm. like Sapporo, uh, Anheuser Busch, and so they kind of, it, like which is really weird. Conglomerates because, that took over the yeah. government. Oh yeah, for sure. So they Good. got a stranglehold that they they really don't only want you to be able to get certain products, and that kind of limits what you what we can get here. All right, interesting. Yeah, Tide House. You know, only mm-hmm. only sell the beers you sport and make. Right on. All right. Anything you want to leave us with before we uh, continue on with our programming? Start humming Ted Nugent. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Uh, you know, take up too much of your time. But I did have. I did have a question, and maybe you guys can can answer it no. today or in a later date. What is what's been happening with fat bike dot com? It seems like there's been a bit of hiatus. The last uh, article that's public was you know published was. Somewhere in the end of April or May, there. Wait, so before before you that, answer that, <laughs> before you answer before that, Elroy. Right, before that, I, I answer that, that be, be, before you answer it, Elroy. Right, please watch our video of this because I'm just going to do this, and okay. you're going to have to watch to see. Okay, I will. Uh, <laughs> so here's okay, the deal. Go. I can tell you in, in a nutshell what's going on. <laughs> um, okay, you know I founded that site right back in the old yeah. days, 2011. Yeah. Uh, somewhere around 2000, yep. late 2017, early 2018, I got a job in Vegas making a bunch of money. And uh, sure. I, I was working 15-hour days, so I didn't have a lot of time. And Gomez at the time had some time, so he kind of took it over. And that was great. He was doing some content. He was selling some advertising. Yep. Wasn't paying Greg, so Greg didn't have any incentive to maintain the site, <laughs> even though I told him many, many times the site needs to be maintained, right? So, but to do that, I'm right. going to need some dollars. Stop, whatever. It's a long story about how our relationship <laughs> got kind of a little hosed. But bottom you know, line, bottom you line, <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin or Paula <laughs> in the background. <laughs> bottom line is the site. Calling all ages. Bottom line is the site broke, <laughs> and um, he also uh, cut me out of the Facebook page that I started. Would not let me be oh. an admin anymore. Uh, between that and the site breaking, I had to spend like 80 hours getting the site even to where it is now. So you'll notice it looks different. Okay. It's more modern. It's much it faster. Uh, everything. But sure. I'm I'm still working on the back end of the site to get it functional again and more modern so that we can go another 10 years without, you know. Maybe so I, basically, I took sure. it back over as the bottom line. But I haven't been able to start the content what with doing all of the back end stuff. So... Uh, I sure would like to get some stories, readers' rides, stories on your races that you've done, stories on your rides that you're doing, bike packing pictures, yep, yep. so that we can get some kind of ba- you know 
sort of a, a back catalog of stuff that we can get going once the site, and it's pretty close to being ready to go again. It's just probably another okay. week or two Good. before I Content. can be like, yeah, it's solid enough to redeploy it. So that's kind of the kind of the story. Without bashing Gomez too much. Some, <laughs> too much. I knew, there was, I, knew there, I, I could tell there was a bit of a schism there, like a schism then. Just you guys, it's, I, I just didn't, you know, I don't want to dig up any bad blood or anything. I mean, nah. it's, it's fat, why are we are fat bikers? Why are we fighting? You know what I mean? No, like, we, but, but he got a job at Trek. Can we all just get along? But he got a job at Trek. So the original reason why my name is oh. Sven and not Greg, which is my right. real name, Right. is because I yep. own another bike company called Schlick Cycles. And he's like, oh, it's going to be a conflict of interest. You, blah, blah, blah. You, should, you, should, you can't use your own name. I'm like, all right, well, you know, let's make up a name. So Sven came into being, which is right. fine because it's kind of a fun thing. But now that he works sure. for Trek, I'm like, don't you have a conflict of interest? <laughs> Are we going to call you Benny? Yeah. Benny. Benny, <laughs> Benny. 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 Benny Gomez. Gomez. Benny Lake. Benny, Bunny Hole, Bunny Hill, Benny Be- Hill. Benny Ha Ha, <laughs> Benny Hana. Anyway, yeah, I, do, you know, it, I don't have any animosity, really. What I have is disappointment that all he did was sell advertising, rake money out of it, throw some content up, and never understood how much the actual product of making the site allowed him something to make money with. It took a lot of effort, a lot of time making that sure. site functional and blah, 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 so... Bottom line is, uh, well, he doesn't have a password anymore for it, so, you know, whatever. Okay. Go fuck yourself. Yep. <laughs> well, I do have I do have some stories. I've been a little lazy as uh, as of late. I mean, things got incredibly busy after the pandemic. I mean, it did a lot of writing and writing and taking a lot of pictures. And I do have I do have some things, as they call it, in the can. I, I have a few things that I'd love to, to send you. So what I'll love do to. is I'll share it. I just, I'll send them right up to you. And directly, and then you can do with whatever you want. If they're good enough to put up there, then fine. If Absolutely. not, then just you know, send them on their way. It's, it's it's good exercise for me just to be writing stuff down, and you know, it's, it's fine. It's good. Uh, it's a good exercise, and it's it's fun to do. So yeah, I, I will, will do that, and I will send them your way. Yeah, I will have a an, an explanatory post at some time in the not too distant future with some email addresses. But Greg at fat dash bike dot com still Gets a good you. email okay. address. So. Yep, I believe I have that one. I do have that one in the, in the in the list. Right on. All right. Hey, thanks for queuing us up on that because awesome. I did want to address that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And I'm glad. Well, I'm glad I contributed something worthwhile to the show. <laughs> the show. Sorry. That's the good. That's no, you're, always, thing. you're always about, one of our best guests. Sorry about being 50, dude. It's all downhill from here. That, well, <laughs> you know what? I, I just turned 55. So, it, yep, I'm 50. I'm a double nickel. Right I don't now. remember 55. I just turned 55 on June 22nd, so I'm so, a double nickel. Yeah. Well, they call, they call what it beers for. for some <laughs> so yeah, that's right. I'm one year after the fiftieth, so I'm forty nine, and I'm approaching my forty eighth birthday. Good call. See this yeah. one. So you'll, so you'll never. I hit the, I hit the fifty wall. And I'm you'll, going back. You'll never Do you quit drinking at nineteen? That's math. That's the only kind of math I can do. Is just that means he'll be dead by then. Yeah, I Me should. Too. I should be dead. <laughs> When I turn, by, when by I turn nineteen, fifty to nineteen. Be, that's, 20, 20, when that's, I turn nineteen. That's Thirty-one again. years. Yeah, before he can't drink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. All right, all right. Thanks very much for calling. Appreciate Perfect. it. And yeah, you're, you're, the you're best. welcome anytime. Take care, yep, man. Thanks for taking the, thanks for taking the time, guys. And I will definitely shoot some stuff your way. Right. Hey, come down visit. Yep. I, I, yeah, that's in the that's in some that's in the queue as well. You're <laughs> always welcome. <laughs> okay. Right. Thanks. Bye. Peace. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. All right, man. Yeah, that was quite a surprise. It's uh, always great when he calls, and I was just thinking about him. It's like, I haven't heard from Allroy in a while. And look what I happens. thought, uh, I didn't know. Huh? You a, nice caller. Are you a warlock? Nice I caller. do that a lot. So ah! the, the Gizmatron here shows, it says he saw this would have been his fifth call. I'm probably He's called the other show, too, but. Sure. I thought 519 was Iowa, so I didn't know which one of those jackasses <laughs> it might have no. been, but. No. It might be. It might be five oh nine. I don't know what it is. Well, there was a little bit of uh, chewy. Yeah, we were worried nut, about chewy needling. posts and stuff. Yep, there was a little chewy needling <laughs> posts. I noticed. Um, so that wouldn't have not surprised me. So we started out the show. Hey, thanks, Al Roy, very much for calling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we started good. out the show talking about the RW twenty four, and we we could talk up stories for the next three weeks about how great it was. But here's something I noticed at the bottom of the leaderboard, which I'd never noticed before. It counts laps and miles. Yes. 90, 390 laps. 43,194 43, miles. 
Is Say how, it again. All, how many? All competitors. Yeah. All the competitors combined 9,390 laps check. and 43,194 miles. That's a big number. Uh, excuse me, but with, holy fuck. Without anybody getting number. killed. That without anybody getting killed. With and that's without killed. just people that are, aren't involved 40, that are doing it as well. 9,000 miles in 24 40, hours. 43,194. Yeah. 43,000 miles in 24 hours. Right. Not by the same person. That's really cool. Golly, there's a lot of stuff on. Hey, I so, did. I did. I was I, there for a but, lot of but, it. But, 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 how do they know? How do they know how long my mile was? Well, they because I didn't take the right mile. <laughs> I took the weird mile. It's a Dalek. Yeah. No, you can sit on that one. Yeah. Um, well, you can sit on the other one and just beep boop. Tony's gonna kill you. you. Tony's gonna pull all that crap out of the board. Oh, and he falls. Nope. Mm-mm. It actually works. Oh, come on. I'm oh. approaching 400 pounds. 400 pound Legs in the air. It Legs works, in the air. Though. Legs in the air. Um, I think the av- I'm the- Polish. I can't do that. <laughs> so the lap is approximately five miles. Give I'm it. Polish. I can't. Uh, I know. I just- um, yeah, that thing is so cool. I was looking for a golf, like a golf uh, stool to do some podcasts with. Seat cushion for it. Yeah, yeah. There's one. They make one. Mm-hmm. Cost 19 bucks. I didn't want to set. Your butt isn't worth that much money, so. Well, yeah, it is. I'm um, 55. So uh, <laughs> I was looking for just a regular stool, like one of those kind of foldy up ones, yeah. so that we can do some interviews on the bike with, uh, I'll show this thing in a video at some point down the road, but I wanted a couple of those things that were portable, but this is way portable. I thought it looked like a dog dish that you yeah, might you might totally. uh, you might put your doggy water in, but no, it's more of a. It's more for looking some, through. Yeah, it's, uh, it's no good buy. I not, have a huge thing. look. Look at my big old timey tape measure. Right, and I'm going to like snap and boom. I can. Wow. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. that that would go that uh, forty uh, three thousand one hundred ninety four miles. Right. For sure. That's impressive. I I I left this up here. Every, a lot of people probably know what it is, Nun Sport Hydration. It's what I give credit to, at least in part, for not feeling like total crap on Sunday. A couple of 16-ouncers of these guys over the course of the 24 hours. Felt pretty good on Sunday, oddly enough. Mm-hmm. And bringing it all around with uh, old Canadia, uh, the porch beers of Lavats. Kind of hit the spot at times. <laughs> I was like, "Point." We had point. Oh, that was point. point. I kept thinking it was Labat. It's blue. It was, yes. It's blue. It's it not was Labatt point blue, but it is point. All right. So I stayed up the twenty-four hours. You did, and that's why I thought yeah. <laughs> the blue yeah, cans yeah, were Labat. I, I, I saw you kindly. catching a few Z's a in the couple. chair I, every now I and feel again. bad. I missed. I, I closed uh, my eyes for like a ten-minute bursts. Yep. I, Who? But I, I'm I'm pissed that I, I didn't missed lay the down two o'clock show. 2 a.m. show. Mike, I got about two hours in. Mm -mm, None. It was was either sitting, and that was it. It was sitting and had... Well, no, it's sitting. That's what I'm minutes. saying. Sitting. I didn't say Oh, I, I laid down. I took a nice, nice oh, nap. Oh, five-hour nap. Yeah. Well, it's nap. Yeah. It's not a full night's sleep. It's only five hours. That's so about I what nap. I get every day anyway. But, but see, you know, I was, I was not a biker... I was one of them other people, the bystanders, mm. that were going through the, the fabric. I don't think I was technically a biker until after either. <laughs> you, you know, I mean, friends that have, you know, apartments, houses here and there, and the whole, you know, one of the cool things about River West 24, that uh, I think it's like, you know, the, the, the coolest party of the year, in at least in Milwaukee and perhaps in the world, is because there's athletics with the biking and um athletics there, with there, the drinking th- there's camaraderie and then there's like like you're saying like you know how Artistry. many miles were were driven with the and these are the people that are that are like um signed up and they're actually involved but then there's another a thousand probably bikes that are in 24 hours moseying around the neighborhood doing a little this little sure. that live Absolutely. there you're right you know doing five laps and burr, 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 knocking burr, people off bikes th- thank you and you know cutting you off course and all that kind of stuff you've done this before having, having the big lights in your face and you know the dark hours you know so you know, I, like I will a, I digress wasn't going, i wasn't gonna have epilepsy but Actually, i felt like i was gonna have epilepsy. it wasn't <laughs> it isn't digressing but i was really shocked at how many people tried to pass people on the switchback this year? 
that's why. Like, I, that's why in I, the I fuck avoid. are you trying to pass someone when it's barely two lanes to start? I had to call out a couple of guys, and was one I'm, of them Ron Hockersmith? Uh, no, I called him on some other place. Um, <laughs> but literally, if I was not on your Osnium cargo cargo bike, Omnium, Omnium cargo bike, one guy was heading straight at me. I'm like, I'll win, dude. Yeah, I could run straight into you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna saw you in half the way this bike is designed. And pale them like a buzzsaw. You're, you're trying to pass a family. I'm like, why? You know, I did yell, "What the fuck, dude!" Yeah. I'm like, the problem was uh, the whole the whole. Right, well, that's enough. I use that every single time. There was no me. problem with it. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't want to roll my dice with. That single lane, whatever. Yeah, but was, I just use I use Water Street up to Humboldt back again and down through the beer line and not a bad that's why I'm saying idea. I, have, idea. I have more miles put in than is reported. So oh thing. so this is actually forty three thousand uh, two hundred and forty eight miles. Yeah, must at be, least we're well, adding some onto that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's well, definitely my, that mine was came out to twenty three miles. They computed it as twenty three miles, and I will say it was twenty four miles. Uh, all right. So then. I can get that twenty four number. For next year, no. It's for this year. 20, I didn't do two, 24 You were going to do twenty four laps. Yeah, fuck yeah. That. There no way in hell I <laughs> pulled that off. That was very, very aspirational. That was, uh, was ambitious. Yeah, I was, was on year three. I did eighteen and a half laps. A four, a half. I did a hundred miles a one four, year. A foursome. Yeah, we've. Uh, I did we've solo a hundred miles one year. Yeah, burp, burp, burp. a lot. Well, so, our team did tremendous. Here's something weird. I want to say this before because you know we get. Oh we're, my God, we're, we're late. We're rolling, but guess what? State bicycle has now titanium. Sixteen of them left. So if you, it's time sensitive, right? if you want to get one, you can get in there because, well, dude, twelve ninety nine for the frame, twenty four ninety nine for, for a, a complete full bike. Titanium. The gravels? Oh. Yes, Hold it's, the they're the gravels. No, it's an all road bike. Same it, thing. They, an all road they bike? are the smart people that an say all road, road not gravel. Okay, fine. we were calling them no, all road in the seventies. I'm sorry, you can't ride a gravel bike on the road. It's an it all says right road right in the title. Bike. I know. A road bike. I don't know what it means. It's perfect. It's most tremendous. It's a perfect bike. It's, it's a big most, Lee bike. It's the most gravelous, tremendous and bike. As a, as much as I uh, love this idea, spam comment of the week. It's a new segment because they're so good when I clean out the spam every week. Oh, no. Give me Check one. it out. Do it. What I do not understood is in truth how you are not actually a lot more smartly liked than you may be now. We're crazy wild you, guys. You are very intelligent. You realize, therefore, significantly, in the case of this topic, produced me individually. Imagine it from numerous, numerous angles. That's AI. That's a really poorly written AI right there. I love it. I love That's, AI. Yeah. This is the greatest thing in the world. It gives us something to talk about every right. week. The spam AI comment of the week. Or it's an ESL person, maybe. It's AI. I don't think that's even ESL. It's I, AI. I work with a lot of people but, at ERS, but, ESL. But how is it? But, what's it? What's it AIing off of? Not the stuff in the article. I like you Americans with your crazy pants and your good rock and rolls. I mean, that's mm-hmm. the, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, where that's what I'm hearing, but not here, fully. Here's the state of the bike industry. Shimano mm. bike related sales down 21 percent year over year for the first half of 2024. They're all killing. They're all hurting hard. Yeah. Excessive inventory. Yep. Say it with me. Excessive inventory. Ah, well, we had Ken Keen on the show. So I'm still here. So is that what I should buy? I just um, uh, had Greg pick up my, uh, um, he figured out that I thought it was 80s Trek bike. It was from uh, 94, 95. So that's a good thing. I had another bike. No, that your I, Trek is from the 80s, bro. 80s. 80s. I said 90s. That's the dyslexia. 80s, bro. Either 80s. 80, I, I researched it. Either 81 or 82. I said 90s. That's dyslexia. So, anywho, but I want, an, uh, so should so I get a Shimano, like a, a mountain bike kind of thingy then now? Because I need uh, one of those for the winter. Shimano's components. Mountain bikey thing. I don't know. We'll go over to Dream Bikes and see what they got over there. All right. Yep. Great place, but yeah, your your bike is um, one of only two years oh. that it was made. Pancakes only did two laps. Awesome. Um, a, how many know. did we do? I don't even know how many laps I we did, did as a team. I did five damn laps. We did fifteen, but how many bonuses? Or fourteen, nah, sixteen? I don't know. We didn't we didn't do as well as last year. What was your name again? Either way, uh, Scardina's mm-hmm. s- saucy, saucy rolling meatballs. Rolling saucy meatballs or some such. 
Oh, yeah. They ran out of manifests this year. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. They had to go find Uh, old ones. Yep. Team 26. 15 actual laps and 20 bonus laps. So 35 total. Ain't bad. Last year we did 61. So it took a whole hour for that first lap, I tell you. Well, there was one that was four yeah. hours long when we were all asleep. I think there was oh, one. Sorry. I think I have one where it's a nineteen-hour gap. <laughs> <laughs> Team fastest, slowest. Who was there this? Oh year? yeah, my hot lap was like fifty minutes. Yeah, but those <laughs> but, have but changed that, over the years. But that years, was correct? at five o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. You those know, have yeah. changed I'm over already, the years. I'm, I'm just you know you're 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 confused. going for a glass of whiskey or doing this. It, it, over the years, it's changed. You changed, man. You know. All right. right. He used to be cool. So, okay. he changed, he changed man. man. All right. How long has River West Radio or River West Radio? River West Twenty Four been like, going on? Is it uh, like it's the eighteenth year next year? No, okay. it's the fifteenth year next. Thank year. Thank you. I was going to say it is definitely not the fifteenth year. It started in two thousand ten. Yep. It did not because I have a shirt from 08. 2010. Bet. Mm. You buying beer next door? Ten. Yep. Sorry, you want to bet? Ten. Sure is. You're then buying they, me a beer. Then they weren't counting laps. You want to bet this me was a the beer fourth, it's not 10? This was the 14th year. Dude, you were at my bonus checkpoint last year. It's I'm not 14. It's, it's at least 16. It's it's going to be 18 well, those next are, year. Okay, so those because were the Who's time. going to win this epic battle who, of wills? Who is Tune got in next week. Two of all the people in their back cycling. pocket. They're already talking about having 18-year-olds Whoa. ride for free. Oh, Garrett will be 18. Cleon is 18. It's so. minimum, well, it's 18, minimum 16. So minimum, I forget is it stuff. minimum sixteen or minimum eighteen? Well, 16. I could pull down my pants. We can call all my tattoos 16. if you want. Let's do I that. Mean, but you didn't. I'm not doing that. You haven't gotten a tat. 2010 was the first tattoo year. No, it was not. <laughs> For the love of God, people, don't listen to Greg uh, or Sven or Greg I, Sven. I, I thought it was eight Sven or Greg. nine. 12. 2008 or nine is what I, I'm thinking off so the top eight. of my head. You're making it up. Nope, I'm not making it up. Nope. All right. You didn't go to that checkpoint because my shirt's there. <laughs> I did. I have video evidence. We'll go check it out. All right, everybody. We'll continue this uh, conversation next week and find out who's right and who's wrong. So we're, already, we're going forty three minutes, or who actually gives a shit? Right. Yeah. Thank you. I don't. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Thanks, everyone. <laughs>